All right, so I apologize that this video took so long to come out. I have had COVID, so I have not had a voice until about um, halfway through yesterday. Um, so if I'm coughing at all through the video, I apologize. Um, these are the supplies, obviously our board, our chip uh, programmer with the cable and the clip adapter. And then I definitely highly recommend getting a USB extension if you don't already have one. Um, that cable is very small, <coughs> excuse me, cable is very small. Um, so unless you have a fat computer tower like I do and you can just easily set it on top and plug it in, you know, that should work fine. If not, definitely recommend one of these. Um, and really quick before I get into the video, I just want to um, comment on Magneto smearing um, my video and all that stuff, uh, my posts on Reddit. I'm trying really hard to get my posts through so you guys can see them and stop wasting money. Um, and he is doing everything he possibly can to try to uh, discredit all of this information, everything to try to continue taking money from people. Um, it's, it's pretty embarrassing. It's pathetic how, how badly he wants your money. Um, if you guys don't feel comfortable doing this, you can totally send me your board. I will do the exact same thing that he's doing for at minimum half of what he's charging just because I want people to be able to get this cheap. I wish that that was an option for me when I was first looking into this. Uh, I probably would have sent my board to Magneto if he was charging a reasonable fee. But once you guys see this video, you'll understand he is charging $60. Plus, you have to pay the shipping to get the board to him for him to do about one minute's worth of labor. Maybe two minutes. That's not acceptable. That's predatory. He's, um, he's not releasing the file out to help people. He's not releasing any information to help people. He's literally running a, a little scheme to take people's money, and that's not cool. So... Um, I will say, as far as money goes, I spent about $150 to get the parts so that I could do this experiment. So if anybody, if this helps you, if you wouldn't mind even tipping a dollar, I don't care how little, how much it is, if you would even tip a dollar, I would appreciate it, try to recoup some of my costs on this. Um, it's not about money for me, it's more about just the principle. I don't, I don't like the way he's responding to all this information. This is something that LG should be paying for. Uh, and I'm, this is now the second or third product I've had from LG that was ruined by a, a firmware. I've had a Blu-ray player. My mom's TV have all been melted by firmware, um, and, it, and it's not okay. So if anybody knows a uh, class action lawyer, holler, because we, uh, we could totally prove that this is, is an LG problem and uh, hopefully get compensated at least for the money that you guys have spent. Um, like I said, if you guys have any troubles, you can reach me. Um, I'll leave my email and Discord on there. If you if you need help, I can kind of walk you through it on Discord. If you don't feel comfortable with this at all, or you run into major problems, reach out to me. I will. Uh, I I can have you send me your board, and I can fix it for you and have it mailed out the next day or even the same day if you do it early enough. Or I can also I can sell this board. This is an extra board now, so I could sell this board for like sixty dollars shipped, and then if you send me your board in return. I will give you half that money back. So I can just keep on basically recycling to the next person if anybody wants to try that too. But anyway, thank you. I hope this video helps and good luck with your repair and holler if you need it. All help. right, so I'm assuming that most people won't need this, but just in case anybody doesn't know how to do this part, when you download that uh, AS Programmer 203A from the links in my, uh, my video, it's gonna come up as a zip folder. All you have to do is right click it, extract all, Find whatever folder you want to extract it to and then just hit extract. Obviously, I've already done that because that's what all those files are. And then all you have to do is double click AS Programmer. And then it should open like here. First thing is just check your hardware tab. Make sure it's set on 341A. Okay, so if you get the CH341A adapter programmer like I have, you'll have this little adapter for the SOIC8 clip. And then you'll have the 341A programmer. Make sure your jumper is on the far right, like this one. Sometimes they come in a different spot, I guess, but make sure yours is there. And then if you look in the, right here, it says 20, sorry, 25 and 24. That's 24 are the first eight pins, 25 are the second. We're gonna be using 25. If you look at this here, it says one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. You want pin one, which is that top left one, is going to go if you look at your diagram, the little dot right there is pin one. So pin one's right here. So you're gonna line this up so that one is on the left like this. And 
Okay, so once you're in the right spot, you just pull this down. And now it's secure. It might bend a little bit, but it's okay. As long as it's in there good, you're fine. Next, you wanna look at your cable here. That red cable means pin one. And if you look at the one side, there's a hump there. That is the side that one is gonna start on. So pin one is that top left hole there. So we're gonna install that like it's so. So now that red pin with the hump is on pin one and pin one is going into that first bottom left if you're looking at it this way. And then if you follow this, you're gonna follow that red cable there. So pin one, sorry, my phone sucks. Pin one is that very last one on this side here. So that's pin one. So just save that for later. Remember that when we get to the next part. All right, so when you first install your USB uh, programmer into your computer, it's not going to find it. It's going to look like that. USB uh, other devices with a little um, triangle on it. So if you type in device manager on the bottom, the search panel, click on device manager. That's what brings this up. And then you're going to click on the, uh, the one and then put update driver. And then you're gonna browse the con your computer. And then you just go to that, that uh, AS programmer folder that you had and it's automatically gonna find the drivers. If you just put this folder here, it will automatically find it and you hit next. Finds the drivers for it, hit close. So now it's in there as an interface uh, ready to go. At that point, you can open up AS programmer and it should find it here. Make sure that you select uh, CH341A under hardware. And then now we're gonna connect our, um, our SOIC 8 clip to our chip. Okay, so a couple quick notes. Try not to touch any of the capacitors or any of the, um, the high power electronics. You can handle it by the heat sinks, is which I usually normally carry it, or you can hear it on the outside of the board here. Um, but if you look by, this is where the Wi-Fi Bluetooth ribbon cable plugs in. That chip right there, that little chip there is the one we're after. Top right corner, you see a little white arrow. That is pin one, coincides with the red cable on our clip. So when you clip it, you're gonna, you're just basically gonna clip it exactly straight down like that with the red on the top right. And that's gonna create our, our connection. Um, before you do this, you're probably not gonna be able to see it on my phone, but there is some writing on the chip itself that tells you exactly what model number it is. I apologize for my phone. Um, but if you uh, if you get your magnifying glass out or if you have a better, better uh, camera, uh, you can read it um, and that'll tell you which chip it is. So when you go to the next step, it'll be easier. So take your, uh, your SOIC8 clip and clip it on. You should see it kind of like lines up perfectly. It's about the exact same size. Just open it and then you should sort of feel it kind of line up and then it'll clip on. And then you should hear your computer make a noise if you do it correctly. Uh, mine is going through headphones so you will not hear it. And then next step is back to our AS programmer. We are going to hit this one right here. It says read ID. Now these are the, all the uh, possibilities on the chip. Mine was an 8035 E, yours may be different, but if you see the 25, MX25, that's a 25 series chip. That's why we did the 25 side of the programmer. But mine says uh, MX25L8035E, so I know that's the right one. I'm gonna select IC. If yours is different, select the one that makes more sense, um, the one that matches your board. Hit select IC. And then the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit read IC. So it's gonna just sit here, it only takes a couple seconds. It's gonna read all the information on that chip really quick. Now what I would recommend doing is before you do any of this, go ahead and hit this button right here, it says save, and save that file as your original before you uh, overwrite it. Once you do that, you'll have a backup just in case for whatever reason, if you if you need, if you have a dead board, it doesn't really matter, but just in case, I, I made a copies of mine. Um, next, we're gonna open up our, uh, our file. And this is the one that I have um, 
copied from my old, my uh, my working ones. This is my updated working BIOS. And so when I open that, it's going to change the file. Um, the next step is literally all you have to do is hit this button right here. This is the program I see, but I'm going to hit the little drop down arrow and I'm going to hit this one. What this is going to do is it's going to unprotect the chip, erase the chip, program the chip, and then verify that the data is correct. Um, what I noticed on my third board is that when it went to verify, there was a little bit of data that was like in the middle here that was just extra data, almost like the chip didn't erase all the way. Still worked perfectly fine, so you don't have to worry about it. But once you hit that and then hit this here, it's gonna run the program. It only takes about two minutes. And then when it's done, it should be fixed. If you run into any errors, just let me know and I'll try to help you out. Um, but that's it. Once that's done, you just plug it back in and it should be working again.